Hello everyone, welcome to the DD channel. Today, we're gonna talk about... Just give me a second. Hey, where is he? What? What do you mean the gate is stuck? Yes, I am on air now. Just get it done. We're gonna talk about it. Today, we're gonna talk about Cougar and X from Border Break. Border Break is a 10 vs 10 mecha game on arcade only. Until last year, they started on PlayStation 4. It is the single most awesome mecha game I've ever played, even though I do absolutely horrible on PvP games. But that didn't stop me because their mech design just turns me on. The best thing about their mech design is they're spot on realistic. Not too much, and not too little. And this model kit from Alter did a fantastic job presenting all these details. There are also several border break kits from Kotobukiya under the Cross Frame series, which use the same frames as Frame Arms. They are not as detailed and not as high quality as this one from Alter, but the price range is a lot lower, so they still make a good collection. Let's move on to the articulations. Feet, ankle, suspension with real spring. Although it's a single joint for the knee, due to its design, a single joint can bend just enough. Crotch, pretty high kick, quite flexible booster, and it can expand. Waist, very flexible shoulder with a brilliant design at the base of the shoulder. Bicep rotation, single joint elbow, wrist, and the neck. And here is one of the most signifying feature of border brake mech design, is these equipment mounts. They hold equipments on the back or arms and work like this which is one of the features that Kotobukiya did not make it. And the other one is this. Not just the opening mechanism, the interior is also fully present. Now, let's move on to the accessories. Five pairs of hands, closed hands, open hands, grabbing hands, grenade grabbing hands, and trigger hands. Male and female pilots that I haven't finished painting, an action stand that's simulating the catapult in the game. And all these equipments. We got Rifle Star 30S with a foldable grip, Missile Thrower MSL Swarm, Grenade Chain Bomb V, Double Sword LE Rigel, Assault Charger Distance, and Multiway X. In the game, you only get four equipment slots at a time which is why the kits from Kotobukiya comes with 4 weapons each. But this one from Alter gives you a little bit more option with 6 of them, which is pretty cool. Overall, I think this is an amazing kit. The completion of this kit is not as high though, so I definitely recommend you paint this kit. And also, this is not entirely a snap fit model kit. About half of the time, you'll have to glue parts. Compared to the Kotobukiya ones, this one got more accessories, 
better articulation, and much more movable features. But consider the price is about three times than the Kotobukiya ones. I can't really tell which one to recommend. Thank you all for watching. If you like my review, please subscribe as there will be way more reviews on plastic model kits and figures. I'll see you guys next time.